Well, this is uh, what we're getting today here in southwest Montana. A little snow. Here we are into May and winter just ain't giving up. <laughs> I just had to head into Bozeman today and I looked at the weather forecast and it doesn't look too good for the rest of the week. It's not, it's actually about 36 degrees, but uh, it, I guess it was cold enough to snow last night. Yep, that's snow you see on the hillside and it's uh, May 7th. And it looks like it's trying to, you know, do a little bit of a rain here. Thank goodness it's rain and not snow. Anyway, I'm heading to Bozeman. Um, just getting uh, some supplies and stuff for my DVDs. And I uh, thought you'd like to see uh, it's not warm and cozy here in southwest Montana quite yet. Pretty little drive. Had a friend almost hit a mountain lion on the road here a couple years back. I guess he was coming down for water. Guys on the river fishing. I don't know if I'd be. Well, it Should turns out that it was a real bad accident. Uh, I just found out from a gas station at the uh, intersection where you turn to go towards uh, Bozeman or up towards Helena. And uh, I asked her uh, to call the sheriff and have him maybe put somebody there to stop people from going all the way to Bozeman on that road to find out that they got to turn around again. I mean, big semi-trucks have a hard time turning on a two-lane road. And she said, was told by the Madison County Sheriff that she had to call the Gallatin County Sheriff because it was in Gallatin County that the accident was. So she called Gallatin County, got transferred about four times, found out that she's got to call the state of Montana for the Highway Patrol to send somebody down there. So it just really screwy. Anyway, I decided I'm just not going to take a chance of coming back home and finding out the road is still closed because uh, somebody had to be life flighted out. And so that means major investigation. The car caught on fire uh, in the accident, which was involved with a semi truck. I don't know exactly the details. So I decided I'm just going to go either tomorrow or the next day instead of trying to well, I've already added 20 miles to my trip. And, I, you know, it, it would end up being about 200 mile round trip by the time I get done. So I just decided just to screw it. Go home. It's, uh, the sun's at least trying to come out. So, anyway, have a great night, everybody. Hope it's warmer where you are than it is here.